Howdy folks, this is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your class B and B plus RV specialist. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. And we'll put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it's going to take over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. However, once this unit is sold, that link will be removed as that web page is no longer live. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing. If you have any questions on those, give us a call in our office at 440-OHIO-RVs. For sale today, we have the 2013 Pleasureway Excel TS. Alrighty, folks, it's time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We are inside of this 2013 Pleasureway Excel TS. This one has 34,824 miles. Again, 34,824 miles on a 2013 Pleasureway Excel TS. Both front chairs up here are leather. Both front chairs do swivel. This driver's seat is going to be limited. When the seat back gets around there, it is going to hit the steering wheel and will not make an entirely a full swivel. The cabinets are all maple. We do have a microwave slash convection oven on the shelf up there. Fantastic fan up in the ceiling. The passenger seat here is also going to swivel. This one will make pretty much a full rotation as there's nothing up here to inhibit that back that that back's going to hit. So you can pretty much swivel this one all the way around. And again, that one there is also leather. There are two options or two places to put your table. Option number one is here. And option number two is back there. So you're able to place that table in either position, wherever you want to do your seat, do, uh, do your dining, sit down, whatever you want to do. Uh, two options there to place that table. Fire extinguisher on the wall. There's three switches here. Two of them are for interior lights. One is for the porch light. Up top here, we have our levels gauges. So if we hold any one of these buttons, it's going to light up our gauge here to show us how much is roughly in our tanks or our battery. Switch here to turn on our water pump. Switch there to turn on our water heater. Remote start for our Onan 2800 generator showing 25 hours. Kitchen area here, we do have a couple cabinets above the kitchen with frosted glass uh, inserts in the doors here. Nice big stainless backsplash behind the kitchen. Little cubby there to store your spices in. Single basin kitchen sink. Does have this cover, it goes over top of that. So if you need more counter space, uh, you can place that on there and then you have more counter space. These counters are Corian, so they're a hard surface countertop. Got our two burner cooktop here that is fueled by propane. And again, has a nice cover. So if you need more counter space, just close that. You can use it for counter space. Two drawers here. This guy here is our propane furnace. Down here, we have our battery disconnect, which is this red key, as well as a couple other circuit breakers. Uh, this red key, when you're putting this unit in storage, you're going to want to turn that to the off position. It's going to help eliminate any parasitic draw on the coach battery. Three-way refrigerator has a small freezer compartment up top. Three-way means it's going to be powered off 12-volt electricity, 110-volt electricity, or propane gas. A 110 outlet there that has a GFCI protected. Cupboards there. We're going to pull a 180 on you. The wardrobe is located directly behind the driver's seat. You have one table leg here. Uh, the larger rectangular size table is there. Uh, we got a cutting board. I'm going to assume that's left by the previous owner because that's not a factory thing. Um, and then some manuals as well. Our books, the previous owner had left. We're going to leave those for you too. This board here stored on this back wall, that is used to make the bed uh, into the larger portion of, or the larger bed, the larger version of the bed. I will explain that to you when we get back there. Again, microwave slash convection oven. There is also a second table that's a little bit smaller that's round that is mounted on the wall back here. If I didn't mention yet, we have vinyl flooring pretty much from uh, just behind the cab all the way to the back of the unit. The cabin up front is carpeted. Nice large wet bath in these pleasure ways. We've got two lights in here. Makes it nice and bright. Medicine cabinet with mirror or shower head with hose operates off the same valve that is used for the bathroom sink. Again, this is a Corian countertop. A couple of cabinets and drawers in here. There's a 110 outlet that's going to be tied into the GFCI protected outlets that's in the kitchen. So if you trip your GFCI in the kitchen or here, both of those are tied together. Neither one's going to work. There is a small window in the restroom here. Kind of hard to open the curtain with one hand, but that does open as well. The bottom portion is screened. So if we crank this now, that's going to tip out. And again, that bottom portion is screened. Our shower curtain is located right here. 
there's that second light. So we're going to pull the shower curtain around and around the track, which is going to basically go in front of the door and then also in front of the cupboards. So you don't get those two items wet. It's going to keep the water off of your cabinetry here and also off your door. We've got our commode located right there. The carpet or rug there does come out. That is your shower drain pan. Uh, you can stand take it, to take a shower if you are short enough, or you can also take a seat on the commode there while you are showering. The headroom in this unit is about 73 inches. I measured it right here in the center. Just in front of the fantastic fan, there was about 73 inches. Coming back into the living space or bedroom part of this coach, uh, we do have one light switch up here, which is going to operate the lights in the rear. And there are also two reading lights. That one and that one there are individually switched right by the light itself. So if you lay in here with your head down that way, or that way, you can uh, turn those on and off as you're getting out of bed or if you want to read at night. The sofa back here is power. I'll run that down for us here quick. So just hold the button that's gonna run this down. This can be slept in a north and south or a east west configuration. They kind of, I think they might've still done a few TDs. The TD is the twin bed model. They kind of morphed it, the TS into that because you can still use this as a twin bed model. You can sleep one person there and one person there in the north south position, or you can sleep in the east to west configuration if you want. One, two, three. Pleasure Way is gonna call us a two person unit. People often ask me, can you sleep three people in this bed? Yes, you can sleep three people here as long as you do not mind cuddling. North, south, you'd be one, two, and three, or one, two, and three. But Levi, there's this big hole here. Okay, so that board in the closet, you're gonna place that across here. There's gonna be a little ledge down here underneath this cushion. You're gonna place that board on here. That's gonna fill in this gap. Then you're gonna use your back cushions, one and two, to place in the center to make this one large bed. Uh, there are two seat belts back here. Two shoulder belts, one there and one there. And the buckles to, to clasp those into are located right there. This does have the Cool Cat heat pump up top there. That Cool Cat heat pump is going to give you air conditioning as well as electric heat. Uh, the heat pump side of it to give you electric heat is going to work down to a rough ambient temperature of 40 degrees. Anything below 40 degrees, you're going to have to use the onboard propane furnace. Some nice deep cabinets that go down along the side of the unit here two doors to access the whole entire storage because it's so large. Same on this side is a little bit smaller here because we're using this as a separate for the TV inverter, things like that. Uh, so we do have an inverter located here so you can watch this TV while you're traveling. Flip that on, it's going to power the TV off the coach battery. DVD slash Blu-ray Blu Blu player right here. Switch turn on down the power sofa right there. This guy here is going to crank up our antenna, which is located on the roof. Thermostat for the propane furnace, as well as that cool cat heat pump. Side windows here, the lower portion is going to open. There's a little knob there. If you can't see it real well right now, I'll try to get closer here in a second. But you're going to crank that knob. The bottom portion of that window is going to tip out the glasses. And then this bottom portion here is screened. The seat belts often like to pop back down when you go from bed to couch configuration. This large storage compartment down here is accessible from the inside and the outside. We'll talk a little bit about that on the outside portion if you stick around for that. That knob there for the window. All of the cushions, upholstery, everything in this thing is in very good condition. Uh, minimal use, 2013 with 34,000 miles. Again, bottom portion down here tips out, cranks open. Vent for the propane furnace, one right there. We've got another 110 outlet. Noxious gas detector. This little guy here. Brown box, that is our fuse panel and circuit breakers. A Little bit of storage underneath this couch. We've got a 21 inch Vizio flat screen TV. That is on a swivel mount. You're gonna ink that little string there. That'll allow you to swivel that away from the wall so you can position it wherever you want back here. You can also swivel that out and around to face it towards the front if you're doing your uh, Dining or sitting up front there. You can watch that TV in pretty much any position in this coach. Dropped my pointer. Um, again, vinyl flooring back here with carpet in the cabin. We do have a flip-up counter extension here. You can flip that up if you need a little more counter space. Uh, light switch, I think I might have pointed that out, but that's for the back lights. What room has no walls? A mushroom. 
Overall, very, very nice, clean coach. Again, a 2013 with 34,000 miles. Uh, minimal use. Everything in here is in very, very good shape. Outside shined up beautifully. If you stick around for the outside portion of this video, you'll see the little more description on the outside. But overall, very, very nice, clean coach. I'm going to call this thing a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, 10 being the best, 0 being the worst. Uh, very, very nice, clean coach. I'm calling this thing a 9.5 out of 10. Loaded up from front here in the cabin. Uh, we do have power windows, power locks, uh, tilt and cruise, power mirrors, CD slash DVD player in the head unit or the radio there. Um, the backup camera comes up here on the uh, rear view mirror. There's a USB port there that's going to be connected to the stereo. So you can plug in your devices to the radio if you want to play music. Uh, but pretty well loaded up up front up here. If you have any questions on this unit, please feel free to give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. Our new phone number is 440-OHIO-RVS. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. Alrighty, folks, it's time to run around the outside of this 2013 Pleasure Way Excel TS. We are 20 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. Our tires are Michelin's and have date codes of 2818. We have an 11 foot awning. This does sit on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 5.4 liter Triton V8 engine. The outside of this unit shined up beautifully. The paint shined nicely, and the stripes on the body as well as on the roof are still in excellent condition. Show you these ones here on the body. I don't see any fading or cracking. Again, the ones on the roof up here are also still in excellent condition. Started off here, we have two vents here. These are a vents as well as access to the back of our refrigerator. This is the vent for our propane furnace. Here we have our coach battery on a slide out tray. That is a new coach battery that was installed by us. We have a couple of exterior outlets, small storage compartment on the passenger's rear corner, a couple of fresh water hoses that were left in there by the previous owner. We're going to leave those in there for the new owners. Coming around to the back of the coach, up top we have our backup camera. And down bottom, we have our tow package. I a lot of times forget to open these back doors. Just happen to be thinking about it here. But there is some storage underneath the sofa that is accessible from the inside of the coach. This whole thing up here is a door that folds down so you can access this storage here from the inside or from the outside. Our shore power cord laying down there and then also a rug. Some other miscellaneous things that were left in there. Driver's side of the coach again here shined up very nicely. Here we have where we're going to fill our onboard freshwater tank, the vent and access to our water heater, another small storage compartment here on the driver's side corner, a bunch of goodies left in here from the previous owner we're also going to leave in there for you, the new owners, sewer hose storage, we have our outside shower, gasoline tank, City water connection, cable TV connection, our sewer outlet with our black and gray water valves, our propane tank, shore power cord hooks up here, and lastly our Onan 2800 generator. And again, stripes on both sides of this unit, still in excellent condition, and overall exterior of this unit shined up very, very nicely.